Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day, and I am gonna make a little impromptu, on the spot, what's in my bag video, because last night I got out this bag, which is a Balenciaga. I cannot remember what style this bag is. Um, and I don't know if it's in, if I have the, I bought this from, here it is. I bought it from The Real Real. It is a 2012, um, I don't know if it says the style of it. Um, yeah, I don't know if it says the style of it or not. Let's see if it focuses on that. I can't remember what it is. If it's the work, here's some more tags in here. I say $2,025 is the tag. Anyway, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember what style it is. I'll try to find out if it's like work or part-time bag or something like that. Um, but anyway, I am switching out of, I know what this is because I bought this one. This is my first Balenciaga. This is the Balenciaga Classic City. And um, typically it would have all kinds of straps hanging out like that. That is the difference between the Balenciaga Classic or, you know, the Classic has the straps or the little fringe things that hang down. Whereas the, um, I've got a blue one that is called the Giant. The hardware is just a little bit bigger, not as big as it used to be. Um, and it doesn't have the fringy things. Okay, so I was trying to figure out which one last night to switch into, and Brooks, Brooke and I both thought the green one, just for something different. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna wait and just do it till, you know, do it tomorrow in a video. So, this is what I always do. I have it stuffed with this paper that probably came in another bag, and um, I'm gonna let her say hello, and then I'm gonna have to, can you say hello? Can you say hello? And then she's gonna have to, Make a little exit. Okay, go lay down. Okay, so what I usually do is take the stuffing out of the bag that I'm switching into and I just go from one bag to the other and um, then I'll take that stuffing and put it in this one to keep their shape. Okay, first, you guys have seen this. This is my Hobo wallet. I probably need another because it doesn't really go in this one, especially. Maybe I'll look and see which other ones I see. There's just so many pretty designs, but I really have enjoyed the red one. I've told you before, my grandmother and my Nana, her mom, always had a red wallet, and I can remember billfold is what they called it. And it wasn't like this, it was a, one of those smaller ones. And you know, when they would open it and then pull out that cash to give you. <laughs> but, um, so I usually just keep receipts and stuff right in there. Um, I always remember my money is on the side of the um, studs. So I keep my cash and my changes in there too. And then on this side um, are bank cards and mostly the, all those you know, grocery store cards, CVS cards, Walmart, all that kind of stuff. And then I don't keep, oh, I do have my um, toothpicks and I just bought a pack of my toothbrushes. I use these, I never, there's a pack of these in each car, but I need to refill this. Um, I'm gonna do it right now. I need to refill this for like when I go to the movies or when I'm somewhere away from my car, I like to have these in my wallet. These in the toothpick because I cannot, after I eat, I have to clean my teeth before I put my Invisalign back in. Okay, so I just put that in there. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. When I switch bags is usually when I clean it out. So there'll be a pile of trash too. Okay, and speaking of Invisalign, this is my case that I have. And so when I get in a restaurant, I am real strict about how long I leave my trays in. I've read that people take them out and leave them at home when they go out to eat. I don't do that. I literally take mine out before my food comes or the, and sometimes the drink, you know, I just try to be inconspicuous and take them out, you know, and um, then I put them in when we get in the car because I'll immediately get my tooth, 
brush two stuff out and clean my teeth and then put them back in. And I've got these things in here, which are, when I first put my new Invisalign in, a lot of times I have to do like this. Ah, they're still sore. To make sure that it is, you know, fits all the way up as tight as it can. So that's what those were in there. So I always keep that in there. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this, um, but it's my Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Norman Parkinson um, case, and I'll just, um, I'll go through it. I'll go through it real quick. Okay, there's, um, I won't show you tampons and panty liners, but um, let's see what lipsticks. I have that peach lipstick that I love so much, but it is not available anymore. If I had to have one lipstick, for the rest of my life, I think this would be the one I would choose. I love that lipstick. It's, um, and I'll put, I can't remember right now, there's a Tarte or a Too Faced one that's really, really, really similar that I will put down below. This is a wonderful drugstore lip. It is the Matte Balm in, starts with an E, I remember, um, 205. I think it's Elusive. The, tag is just about run off. This is my It Cosmetics um, Je Ne Sais Quoi. That is a good one. This I call Man, what is it? Man Attractor or something. I, can't, I used to call it last year. Um, I don't know, but every time I wear this, I get compliments. I will get like a compliment from a stranger, from a man. They just, every time I wear that lip color, it just gives a real pretty, you know, flush color. Okay, this is the Estee Lauder Suggestive. It's another color like that. This can probably come out. Um, some of these can. Okay, the NARS. Um, this was the one I heard that Lisa Renna wears, but it never really looks like she's wearing this. Um, Frivolous. It's a NARS lip pencil. And I guess I need to sharpen that. That's probably why I haven't worn it. I tried to roll it up, but it didn't. Okay, this is um, a Clinique gloss in Air Kiss. Is that what it's called? Should have gotten my, um, yeah, I think that's what it is. I can take that out too. Um, okay, here is a Tom Ford Forbidden Pink. I put this on the other day, love it. A beautiful pink color, but I probably need to just go through this and take some of this stuff out. This is MAC Purr. You can tell that these are like older colors that I was wearing. This is one of the matte, um, this is called Beauty, Matte Beauty from Clinique. It was when I went through my um, phase of not doing really nude. Okay, this is something I have had forever. My nephew gave this to me when John and I first got married. It's a Leatherman like pocket knife, scissor type thing that I keep in here and I have just used the heck out of it. Um, this is a lip liner, it is Chanel Sienna. And um, let's see, a Tarte lip pencil type thing. And this was a good one, I can't remember which one this is. Um, I think it was one they sent me in one of their kits. I can't remember which one this is, and I don't think it says. It was a, an exclusive, I think, to a set. If I can find it, I'll put it below. And um, oh, <laughs> it's broken, but this is my go-to uh, Lancome Ideal. If I had to have one lip liner for the rest of my life, I would go with Lancome Ideal, for sure. Okay, and then one more lipstick, and then some hair ties, and then that's it. And this is Estee Lauder. Um, Envy Shine, Mischievous Rose. Yeah, this is a good, good nude, like a, a pinky nude. Okay, yeah, I need to definitely go through that and change what I have in there, because you're gonna see probably that I have thrown other lipsticks that I have worn more recently in here. Okay, there is gonna be all kinds of, I'm always afraid I'm not gonna have a napkin when I need one, so, a lot of times I'll just throw random napkins in here. Okay, this is the key to my brother's house in case I ever need to let out his dogs. That over there. Okay, this is, um, I bought some iTunes, just like a pack of $10 cards. 
um, to give to Brooks friends and teachers. I had bought a bunch of packs of those just to put in Christmas cards. More napkins. Um, there's gonna be all kinds of receipts in here. Terrible about that. Let's see. Tent skin linen. Oh, okay, I think this is when I bought um, that foundation at that hair place. I can't even remember the name of it, but it didn't have enough coverage. I need to use it with those drops. Okay, Prada sunglasses. These are old. They're probably five years old. Um, the, the style is awesome. They're just a good cat eye, and they are polarized and I have these in here because they're older so I just it's not that I don't not that I don't care if they get scratched I don't think they will but you know they're not like my new Tom Ford's or something and they're good ones to put up in my hair and they're just good to have with me in case I don't have a pair like in John's truck and the number is SPR21N and I will try to find them and put them down below maybe we can find them on eBay or something okay this is terrible. Okay, here, here it comes with the random lipsticks. This is um, Smashbox Be Legendary in Punch Drunk Matte. And it is a bright pink, but it's a matte color. And I'm just gonna put these in a pile here and go, over, go through them later. This was a candy cane that I must've gotten around Christmas that didn't make it. I'll put that in the trash pile. Goodness, this is the Anastasia Hollywood, if I had to guess. Um, yes, pure Hollywood. It's a good nude. Probably what happened is I wore this one day and then stuck it in here. I love this with Ideal. So I'm just gonna put that in that pile. And I needed to put that back in here, back in my bag, because I know I want that in there. Okay, this is a Charlotte Tilbury, very Victoria. It's that brownish one that I love. And, goodness gracious, here's another Charlotte Tilbury. No wonder my bag was getting so heavy. This one is Pillow Talk. Beautiful. This was that special edition that came out to go with the lip liner. And it's matte, it's beautiful. Okay, this is a pen that my orthodontist was giving out, and I like it. It's a good post office pen because it goes through all the copies of the customs forms when I send those out. This is the best drugstore product I have bought in a long time. It is the Baby Lips Color Balm Crayon. I just bought this one because I gave Morgan, when I got my hair done, I gave her the one I had in my purse, but this is what I have on today, and I love it. It smells awesome. It goes with any lip liner. It is just like the best nude. And I have found that no matter what nude or what color I leave the house in, unless it's a, a bright pink color, but you know, Bitch Perfect or any of those um, nudie colors, I can use this and you know, touch up. So love that. And this definitely has to go in my purse today. Okay. Um, <laughs> This is so funny. I mean, look how old it is. This is chopsticks from Bonefish. I don't, I get Bang Bang Shrimp when I go there and they give me these and I must have brought them, was gonna bring them home for um, Brooke to put in her hair. I think that's what my plan was. This is something I have not even shown you. This is the Pure Chrome Glaze Lip Gloss. Looks like I bought it, used it, and put it right in my purse. And let's put it on over this and see what it does. What is the name? It was the nude, nudie one out of the group. It's DIY. And I liked that it had like a chrome finish here. Let me see. I'm gonna explain those bikes in a minute or at the end of the video I will. Ooh, I love that. So this gives that like cr chrome or shiny type finish. Ooh, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna just keep this in here too for now. 
Okay. Okay, let me back you out a little bit. Okay, this is, okay, this is where I had, um, I had, I went to my gynecologist and had, I don't want to give too much information here, I had my hormones tested to see if I was in pre-menopause or anything like that, and um, I wasn't. They said all my levels were normal. They checked my thyroid and everything, um, and everything was normal, so that was good news. And here's an appointment card um, to the wax center that I'm going to go to for the first time in town. Um, here is a pencil that I probably, a lot of times when Will gets in the car, he'll have a pencil in his hand instead of in his book bag, and I'll just throw them in my purse. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can go through all these receipts. Tic Tacs, I haven't even opened them, but just for emergencies, if I feel like my breath is kicking. Um, here is a Marshall's receipt. Um, I bought new lamps to go on my table upstairs. I just haven't, I want to redecorate my tables and I've got everything off of them. I haven't even put my lamps up there yet because I'm still brainstorming. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. <sighs> Chanel is chewing on a box down here. Okay, um, another receipt for something. I can't, I don't even know what that is. Here is a post office receipt customs form from Nisha. I need to keep that so I can track it and see where that is. Um, goodness gracious, here is a Costco thing where I need to renew my Costco membership. Um, <laughs> here is a picture booth thing of John and I at his Christmas party and I look terrible. I'm not even gonna show you. Oh, terrible, terrible. Okay, candy. A lot of times I'll pick up little, like the dum-dums or the candy that I get, you know, at the bank or something because I always, always have something for my niece when I stop by my mom's to see her. And I typically take her something better than that. I'll just grab her something at CVS or something. Or her favorite thing is sugar cookies. And, um, but if I don't, if I have to stop by there real quick and I don't have time to get something, I always have something in my purse. Um, here is the lid or the top to that um, Lancome lip liner. Okay, um, this is another receipt. I think it's where I had my lips deflated. It was from the plastic surgeon. Okay, this is a 20% off Ulta Beauty coupon that expired on, valid through 1224. <laughs> I don't think I've gone this long without cleaning out my purse in a long time. Okay, and then another napkin. I think, no, this is getting boring, boring, boring. Uh, Glow Med Spa. Um, that's, this was 240. This was when I had my neck IPL'd and um, I need to give you my final thoughts on that um, and do a review and show you. I've got a, you know makeup down my neck right now, so I can't really give you the full, show you the full thing. This is a Victoria's Secret coupon and probably free panty, but it was only good until November 22nd. Let's see, this is a Charlotte Tilbury. This must have gone on the um, little makeup thing. A Luden's throat drop, let's see, um, huh, a business card, I won't, I don't know who, even know who that is, must have been somebody I just met out, a lot of times I meet people because I talk so much, this is a bunch of Ulta receipts, Belks, um, Food Lion, <laughs> the grocery store, um, let's see, Another Belk receipt, and a TJ Maxx receipt, and another sucker. And let's see if that's it. Do, 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 do. What receipt is this? Another post office receipt, another piece of candy, and a peppermint. <laughs> I'll put those in there. I really need to, oh, and here's another Tom Ford lipstick. Spanish pink. I put this on yesterday 
I had started out with something else. I can't even remember. Probably what I have on now. And I put this on after lunch and it is so pretty. And I, I just thought this would probably be the second one if I had to pick a lipstick for the rest of my life. It is a beautiful pink. It's just not too cool, not too warm. It is, the consistency is fabulous. Okay, this, I know what's in here because I've been meaning to give it to my mom. This is a Glossomer from Chanel and I wanted to see if my mom wanted it. Um, I wore it one day and I, it's Giggle and I thought it would look good. It's a nude, I thought it would look good on my mom. Better on her than me. And so I really need to, let's see if there's anything in the zipper pocket. Typically I just keep the tags from the purse in here. I can't remember if I got that bag from Yogi's Closet or I think I got it from um, The Real Real because that's usually where I get stuff now. So now what I'll do is I'll take this and, you know, stuff this bag. I probably won't need as much. I'll stuff it in there anyway um, so that it doesn't lose its shape. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have a lot of stuff to clean up here. But I'm glad I did that. So here is my bag and I will start filling it up again with whatever lipsticks I have. And um, so I guess that's it for what's in my bag. And I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then I will explain the bicycles behind me. I'll be right back. Okay, so today I decided it's very cold outside and I thought, you know, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna blow out the winter and do a Johnny Cash outfit. So that's what this is. It's all black. It's the first time I've worn this top and I love it. I don't know what in the world took me so long, but um, it is from, it's Wilfred. So I think it is from, um, is it from Club Monaco or is it from, oh, it's from Aritzia. And I don't know if they sell it anymore, but there's another one that I want to get that is very similar to this from Michael Lauren. Um, that's a little bit thinner and kind of ribbed. It's like the other tops that I wear. Um, and the belt is from Below the Belt, and the jeans are some of my favorites. They are the Citizens Avedon skinnies, but they are just really, really soft and stretchy. And um, I'm going to wear, I figure this will be the last time I'll probably be able to wear these for a while, but they are the Suede Kate Spade Licorice 2 pumps. And... Um, so they're just plain black. I decided to wear these instead of boots. Just, I don't know, for something different. I like skinnies with pumps. And then I'll have my green bag. And I will probably, I don't know, I've got my, just my leather jacket here. Um, if I had to guess, you know what I'll do? I'll probably put on my um, Anina Bing leather jacket with the gold on it. It's probably what I'll wear with this outfit. Okay, the bikes. Let me see if I can turn you. Aren't they cute? Brooke's birthday is this week. It's Friday. She's a St. Patrick's Day baby. And she wanted a bike. She, The yellow one is hers and the blue one is mine. But we're going to take those. We're going to ride them around here some. But what we really wanted is to take those to the beach when we stay there for those couple weeks. And that way we don't have to, you know, when we want to drive or go down to different parts of the beach and take pictures or just ride around, just ride maybe before breakfast in the morning. And she found that bike and um, so she picked out the yellow and I got the blue and they were not expensive and they are so cute. They've got um, the tires. I love that the tires aren't black. They're like that cream color. John put them together. The big boxes are right here. But FedEx delivered them yesterday and John put them together in here last night so that's why they're in here. But they came with the drink holder. Um, hers has a cell phone holder, and I'm not sure if mine, the blue one, was supposed to come with a cell phone holder too, but I don't really care. John is on it. He wants to call and have them send the cell phone holder, but I really don't care. I can put it in the basket. Um, and then it comes with the basket on the front, and then it has the thing on the back that you could, I guess you would like use a bungee cord or something to, or, you know, put some stuff on the back if you needed to. But, um... I just love them. I think they're so cute. And we got the, you could either get a um, 26, 24 inch or a 26 inch. And those are both 26 inch. And then John had us sit on them and adjust the handlebars and adjust the seat while we were sitting on them. 
So that's what that is. That's part of her birthday present. And um, I will put the link to those below because I really think that you would like them if you were in the market. I mean, they're huffy. They're not, um, you know, earth cruisers or any more and more great expensive bike. They're just something for us to ride a little bit and, you know, see if we like it. But um, I was telling Brooke, we've been doing exercises at night and she's had me doing, I don't know how you say it, but if it's the plank or planking, I don't know, planking or whatever, but I've been doing that at night and she's been timing me. I have started out with 30 seconds. That's pitiful that all I can do, but I've gone past that now. But um, when we were on the bike, like, you know, he was adjusting it, I could feel my ab muscles. So I can tell that, you know, the bike will help that too. Anyway, um, and then for accessories, I have on my polished gold favorite hoops to go with my belt buckle. And um, I have on my, I wanted something just kind of simple. This is a Sheila Fajal um, baguette band ring. And I have some of these left. I don't know what colors, but I will put the link down below. But I love this. It's something really pretty, but simple to wear. And really comfortable. I mean, you don't feel it. And, oh, I'm so glad I thought about this. Let me go get the packet to show you. I'll be right back. I was just thinking this video is going to need some serious editing. It's so long and choppy. But anyway, um, I don't know if you can see, you should see my legs. But last night I got out of the shower and I thought I'm going to do that Alpha Beta Glow Pad for body from Dr. Dennis Gross. And, you know, I wasn't really thinking. It says an exfoliating sunless tanner that firms skin for a smooth streak-free glow with active vitamin D. And I wasn't really thinking that what I've been using is a gradual <laughs> tanner. And so it says that you put this on. Um, I, it was really enjoyable to put on because it was a big cloth and it was not, um, wasn't like soaking wet with tanner. And it was just a little bit, I mean, you did feel like you were exfoliating your skin. It felt good when I got out of the shower. So I did it all over, open towel, apply to body in circular motions, blending evenly until dry. Wash hands immediately after use. This is what got me. For best results, um, follow with moisturizer. Color begins to develop within one hour of application. Apply two to three times weekly to maintain color and maximize results. Well, I noticed that I must have not, I did wash my hands after I did this, but I don't think I washed them after I put the lotion on. I really liked being able to put the lotion on after I did that though, because I felt like it evened it out, but I did, I think my hands are a little bit they're definitely tan. But what I was gonna say is, wow, it really tanned. You should see my leg. They look like I have been to the beach three times. And um, my arms and chest and everything looked like that. So I wasn't thinking that it was gonna tan that much more than the gradual tanner, but it did. But it was very uh, clean. It did smell like tanner, just like they all do eventually. I've noticed even if they don't in the beginning, you know, the next day you'll smell it on your skin a little bit, but I just think that's part of it. But very neat, you know, easy to use. Anyway, that was just one I had gotten with my order. But anyway, and then I was just thinking when I went back there to get that, that yesterday I got a package from Netta Porter from Denise. She spoils me. And she said, we needed to try this. And it's the O&M Root Alicious. I told her it reminded me of Fergalicious. <laughs> We used to jam out to that song when the kids were little in the car. I can remember going to the beach. But um, it's the Root Delicious Root Lift Volume Lift. And I used it last night and I can really tell. And it is not, um, it's not like the Enjoy Texturizer. It's more natural. I think it uses um, add volume from the roots up. This product will help your hair stand up and get noticed. Root Delicious forms an invisible barrier around the roots to support and lift hair. Um, a native Australian duo of natural actives work together to protect hair and pump up the volume. Um, Lily, Lily Pilly, I'm sure I'm just not reading that right, works body into <laughs> roots. And um, Kwong Dong <laughs> conditions and protects hair from styling. 
who knows if I see that right or if I'm reading it right. But anyway, I thought a lot of you that want body and texture in your hair but don't like that feeling of stickiness or grippiness would really like this because I put right much in there and you can see that it definitely gives you volume but is not sticky. It's much softer than the Enjoy Texturizer or the Moroccan Oil or any of those. So I think that's it, finally. Nails are still the same. This is that color that I bought and took to my nail place. It is the Gel C&D Bare Chemise and I love it. Very, very nude. I've gotten so many compliments for it just to be a nude color. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I haven't done a what's in my bag in forever. I've kind of been craving a new bag, but then I don't know what I would really even want. I know I just don't like flap bags. And when you know that you don't like them, that cuts out so many Gucci and designer bags. And I just really love most of the bags that I have. So until I see one, that I really, really, really have to have. I'm just gonna use the ones that I have because I love it. So anyway, sorry, <laughs> ramble, ramble. I will see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye.